Hello students, welcome to SAM classes. Let's talk about, we have already given you the detailed instruction, how we will be going through with the chapters and what will be our workflow. Like which chapters we'll take out first. We'll go with the strategy wise. The important chapters will take them first. The less important, the mediocre range, the second. And almost like very rarely come in chapters, the third. Now one thing very important and to be very strict, will not be putting any Dabba questions first of all. Dabba question means the questions which are J advanced level or J mains level which doesn't ever come in KCT. Okay. So it is, it is strictly KCT based. Okay. And only those things which are required for a KCT I have given here. Okay. Now what we have done in order to make this resource and in order to make the whole course what we have done is let's understand in the basic sense. We have taken NCRT book, we have taken the exemplar, we have taken the Sharvasar, we have taken content from um, Sengage and the contents which were almost matching with uh, from 2014 papers to 2021, we have taken them. So whatever we have made, it is due accordance with your latest KCT syllabus. Okay, so that is there. Now students. One thing that you need to know and that you need to understand is whatever we are trying to provide here, it's to the point and a lot of times students have the first question, sir, whatever you are teaching, is it enough to score good rank in KCT? One of the biggest questions that has been asked uh, by the students to, uh, what do you say, uh, they ask it, like as a usual, like always we get this question. That sir, is the content, is the material enough for us to, what do you say, crack the KCT under 100 or under 1000, whatever kind of uh, dreams or goals we have. Definitely students, we can give you a guarantee that whatever we are teaching up here, you will be able to crack it. Okay. In whatever goals you want. Only thing is the revision changes your rank. The more and more content you revise of ours, the more thorough you will be, the more doubts you will clarify, the more better you will be able to solve it in the, in the exam. So that is the most important point. Okay. Now, so we have started the integral chapter. You will be able to know this is of high weightage, around five to six questions per chapter. We are asked every time. So judging by the number of questions, you can understand students five to six questions means a lot matters in the number of ranks. If Let's say you have scored 40, 40 marks in maths. And if you have scored 46 in maths, your score can be a minimum 1000 above than the other kid. Okay, six marks can make a like wonder difference. Okay, so very, very, very important this chapter. And it is too easy. Okay, it's not that it is like uh, very difficult. Okay, so what happens is what were things we need to know here? First, see, it is a combination of a lot of different things. So, first, what we need to know the basic. Let's say you are going for a war. What is the most important thing that you need for a war? Your weapons. So here your formulas are your weapons, kids. Okay. So if you are, if you have bad formula, bad formula means bad weapons you have. You lose the war. Correct. So understand first the most important thing. These formulas are your weapons. If you don't have it properly, you are gone, case. So very, very, very important. Okay. So the formulas first thing you have to do it very thoroughly. Formulas you have to do it very thoroughly students. Okay. Now uh, let's understand the formula is very important. The first part is the formula. Now once you have learned the formula, so you have to mug it up. You know, you can mug it up by writing it. You can mug it up by practicing it. Okay. You can mug it up by normal mugging it up. Okay. Whichever way I need you to have a very thorough and very strong formula base because you'll see out of five to six questions per year, two to three will be directly formula based. Now coming to the next part after formula application of formula. You'll say, sir, you said the same thing, sir. So what is the difference between formula and application of formula? Very, very, very important. You know formula, but whenever they twist and turn, what are you going to do? Start crying. Huh? Huh? Correct. You can't do that. So you have to apply. You have to think and apply. Okay. A, per, a student who is scoring under 100 rank, he knows how to twist and get the required formula and to apply it. Okay. So that will be teaching you here. Okay. So these two will be the most important part for this chapter integrals. Okay. And uh, the way and the workflow right now, first we'll be doing 
the concept whatever formula now what happens is second question which comes from the students a lot of times is sir from where do we write the formula ncrt not enough uh, rd sharma not enough uh, what do you say if you take some good je books and all that sir they have x is a formula so that's why we made a dedicated list of the formulas which will be needed by you only for kct not extra not less okay so what we did is from 2010 to around 2021 we went through all the questions we analyzed them we what to say we went through and we saw the syllabus whatever it is then by that we decided these many formulas we need to include as minimum okay now one or two here and there also it's very uh, difficult uh, what do you say you don't have to add from our end because whatever we have gone through none of the year it came anything extra outside from this part so we are definitely very 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 sure that this year also none of the questions will come outside the concepts what we are teaching so first be very clear your concepts whatever you are doing here will be done and if you do it properly it will be done properly kids okay so you don't have to worry on that so let's start the chapter integrals okay so I am expecting a, what I'm expecting is that you all should know the basics of NCRT, correct? The PU part, so that I don't have to teach you that part, correct? Because we are doing a crash of KCT. So in that case, so do remember that I'm not teaching you the KCT part, uh, the PU part. I'm teaching you the just the KCT part. So wherever you are feeling doubt, having difficulty, I have put up my videos for all the PU and CBSE and everything. So you can go through that, okay? It's there it will be there in the YouTube section so done now let's start so the first thing we know integration formulas x power n dx it is what x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 now you'll say sir what is very unique about this formula see understand whenever you integrate some power the power increases if I integrate x power 6 x power 5 I get x power 6 so a lot of times you can do what option checking also and we can solve the question in 15 seconds if you have an idea whenever we integrate something the power gets what increase the power gets increased very good now 1 by x integration log x e power x now only e is there e power x is there whose derivative and integration doesn't matter doesn't change if you differentiate d by dx of e power x sir e power x only sir and d by integration of e power x is e power x only so understand very 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 important that your integration and derivation of e power x remains the same a power x integrate derivative part a power x into log a integration a power x by log a so very important just integration of dx so you say sir what is there nothing x power 0 so x power 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 so it is x so these were all the trigonometric if you integrate sine you will get minus cos now mug it up or remember whenever in the answer section of integration you have something starting with c you put a minus sign minus cos x minus cot x okay starting with c you put a minus starting with c you put a minus that's it cos x integration of something with c positive secant x tan x secant square x tan x secant x tan x sec x cosecant square x minus cot x okay very important Next, integration of cortex, log sin x, uh, tan x minus log cortex, secant x, log secant plus tan x, cosecant x, log cosecant x minus cortex. So important and uh, what you say very useful, okay. After this, these six formulas are very, very important. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, these six formulas and they're similar to that, these formulas, okay. They're very important. What extra is there? First, see here both positive term a square this will be a square term. a square plus x square okay so it is 1 by a tan inverse x by a now here minus if i put tan inverse uh, cot inverse will come if i put uh, a square minus x square sine inverse these are all itf formula these are all itf formulas okay minus dx by a square minus x square cos inverse then 1 by mod of a uh, mod x into root under of x square minus x square secant inverse if minus comes then cosecant inverse okay so very important these are the basic simple formulas and i think so you all students know okay now coming to next this is also very important for kcet very important for kcet students a lot of question comes from this every year okay so this is important for kct so this is sir how sir very simple sir 
okay how can this be so important what happens they won't give you a simple function see what what they are trying to say is if you have a function fx and if you have a derivative so directly the answer will be what log fx so let's say with an example you have a function secant square x and down you have root tan x so what you can do sir i can take tan x t sir this secant square x dx will become what dt so directly i can say integration dt by root t now you should remember and you should keep it in mind integration dt by root t is nothing but 2 root t is what 2 root t so all this here so that's why we made a like a kind of short trick and all uh, which comes in the youtube section a lot of people they'll be youtube videos they'll be putting up short tricks to mode is a very small short trick so same thing uh, that is the same thing here so whenever you have fx in root and its derivative above f dash x dx directly you can write an answer to root x plus c directly okay so now every time you don't have to do so you need to practice and you have to keep that in mind correct now can you take another example and tell us yes definitely sir what do you say integration something let's say what i have taken is x square plus 2x plus 4 so if i differentiate this what i'll get student if i differentiate this i'll get 2x plus 2 dx so directly i can say what is the answer i want to solve 2 root under of x square plus 2x plus 4 plus c Now see how in how much time it took. It took not less than more than five seconds also. Correct. So you don't have to do that much. Okay. If you know, you can easily solve it. So this formula, uh, very very important. If normal function derivative on top, then log will come. If function in root and then derivative on top, root to root f x will come. Okay. Very simple. Don't complicate. Clear up. Everybody. Okay. any difficulty understanding anything you can just uh, put a mail and we are trying to bring the doubt option facility facility okay where after let's say this part of the video let's say at 14 minutes uh, 13 seconds or 30 minutes or uh, 10 seconds you have a doubt just click on that part the doubt button will come up soon and then that will reflect and show us that this student is having doubt at this part and will have a clarification for that so uh, we are there for you don't worry okay just work hard we need the results okay so and we want serious kids okay so if you are a serious kids and you are working hard then it is the best place you are there okay now spatial integrals very very important students what are the spatial integrals first we already know this one in the inverse part we read now whenever we have a square minus x square same thing 1 by 2a see whenever we have negative negative somewhere either with x or this log will come you can keep like that in mind okay and whenever inside root we have negative of uh, what do you say the coefficient of x square is negative sin inverse will come if positive in both case then log will come if positive in both case then log will come correct now if this one is in denominator and this one is in numerator so sin inverse will be common okay same value root under of a square minus x square is in denominator so sin inverse here it is in numerator so again sin inverse but extra term so same thing you can just uh, keep it side by side and you can match it okay what is extra here you can see uh, the formulas if you make it short you can see the formulas that a lot of things is common in that okay what are the things common is let's say integration dx by x square plus a square so this part has to be common so if you see here this part has to be common okay so you can understand oh sir correct and the down one if you see this part is common this part is common correct so that is very simple so this is like just a way to understand the what the formulas and keep that in mind for a longer time that's it clear now this again very important you will see a lot of questions from here also by parts integration u v dx u v means u is one function v is another function when you have two functions in multiplication form in integration then we do like this sir in earlier in derivative what you used to do chain rule chain rule la u v correct so integration of u v is equal to what when we have let's say one function sin x the other function let's say x square so what are you going to do we'll use this integration uv so what we'll do first function integration of the second function minus derivative of the first function into integration of the second function then the whole integration that's it so will you be able to remember again so use your first function and how do we decide which function to take it as first which function to take it as second very important which function to take it as first 
Now the function to be taken as first will be given the priority from islet. So inverse log algebraic trigo exponential. So if inverse function is right there, you give the priority, make it the as a first function. If log is coming and rest others are coming, so log will be the first function. So depending on this islet priority, we'll go about that. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Clear everybody. Now while solving uh, in the PYQ section, we'll show you how to use the short trick uh, with the numerical part. So don't worry. Okay. Uh, any question, any times you have doubt, we'll solve what is explain you a trillion times, but we'll get the doubt clarified. Okay. So don't worry. Have patience, have faith in us. Okay. And uh, the whole team will work damn hard for you all to uh, what do you say to bring you to the your goal as far as near as possible but the most important part is your part not ours okay so your part is your hard work is the most important ingredient for this whole dish to be prepared in a damn well manner okay r is like the spices the masalas that we put to give it like the extra aroma and everything but your is the main thing okay so your hard work your dedication will be requiring it so honestly work hard we are there to help you all okay now you'll see a lot of times we have this question when we have integration e power x one function and then derivative of that function so directly you write e power x into fx that is the answer so you'll see will you get this kind of question illa sir but what do you have why you have shown just a basic application we have e power x a function tan and its derivative f dash x that is secant square x so directly i can write answer e power x into tan x okay but will they give you this similar illa they won't give you that simple they'll give you a good difficult one but you have to work i'll show you how to manipulate that how to change it into the function how to identify that this is my function fx and this is my f dash x okay that all will do but these all now one more important thing students that is the most important thing you need to write down these formulas okay make your own notes because what happens is students one day before two days before the exams they'll start asking sir we need uh, formula notes we need this that that time even if i provide also my notes won't help you students your notes how many times you have studied that will help you okay my notes won't help you so what is important is you prepare your notes from the starting we'll try to finish up within 100 days what you have said okay so from our end we'll try to do the best from your end you try to be the best okay now let's see sometimes you will get a question what is never ending integration x cube cos x it keeps on going keeps on going okay so but still if you see integration of cos x is sine again integrate sine cos again integrate so what you will do you will take the function uh, as you which one which you will end so x cube if i differentiate what i'll get x square 3x square again if i differentiate what i get 6x again if i differentiate i'll get 6 again if i differentiate i'll get 0 so you have to take that function as you which will end it means whose derivative will end one time okay so whenever we have u v so what do i do u into integration of the second minus derivative of the u first time into it second time integration plus two times derivative third time integration so like that will have and you will have a better understanding of this while we are solving the pyq i'll show you how to apply in a very clean very simple manner so you don't have to worry about that okay clear but just this formula you need to write it down so that you understand whenever we have something like this kind of question and the integration keeps going on keeps going on keeps going on which one to take it as you correct which one to take it as the first function that is very important okay clear let's see next now a lot of times they'll see uh, videos are there in the internet they'll take one question like this and they'll just show directly one line and this is the answer okay and that is the short text so that is correct also but you need to understand you need to prepare everything also okay so e power integration e power x sine bx is nothing but integration uh, e power x by a square plus b square this is common now whenever you have sine kid understand sine bx will come first then cos bx and a minus will come then you have cos cos will come first sign will be there but a plus will there with cos plus with sign minus with cos plus with sign minus so mug it up cos plus sign minus cos plus sign minus clear so c plus s minus c plus s minus you can remember and 
bx bx will come bx will come bx will come bx will come a will be the coefficient a and b a and b a and b a and b so you can mug it up like this also okay clear very simple nothing is there okay so if you get a question integration e power 2x sin 3x what will be the answer come on put it write it down what will be the answer how oh, sir what will be the answer sir directly one line we can write e power 2x by 2 square plus 3 square is how much sir 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 9 plus 4 13 sir and integration 2 sin 3x since it is sin so minus minus 3 cos 3x that's it done what was that difficult correct ah so if you know the formulas if you know what to do you'll be able to do it in a damn fast manner okay now coming to the next question students very important the next formula sometimes you'll see you'll get a quadratic down you'll get integration a linear factor on top and a quadratic down so what are you going to do this quadratic part you have to take it as t and try to arrange the above part the numerator part a part as f dash t clear clear this one you have to take it as t and the linear above numerator part as f dash x if this one is x then f dash x if this one you are taking it as t this one will be as what f dash t derivative of that clear that's it now how do you do it sometimes it's very easy to find out what you say uh, what can be the derivative but sometimes it becomes difficult so that's why we have a formula for that okay let's see with an example a simple example let's say we have an example integration uh, let's say 4x square plus 2x plus 3 and here we have uh, 2x plus 2 so if you see if I take this one as t students what will be the derivative if I differentiate 4x square plus 2x plus 3 what will be the derivative 8x plus 2 now I have to bring 8x plus 2 what I'm going to do I'll multiply this whole thing with 4 so divide by 4 so I got 8x and I got 8 so what I'm going to write is 8x plus 2 plus 6 so see this is my what first term by this plus 6 by this so that only we are finding by using lambda and mu okay so not always it becomes uh, that easy to arrange it and get it so you'll be able to understand much more better while solving the questions pyqs okay so don't worry just uh, remember the formula that the numerator is equal to a times or lambda times any d by dx of derivative of denominator so say to also with me you'll be able to mug it up so numerator is equal to a lambda times d by derivative of the denominator plus mu numerator is what lambda times derivative of the denominator plus mu okay very simple to the point okay keep in mind numerator is equal to lambda times d by dx of uh, denominator sir plus uh, mu clear uh, everybody got it okay next coming to this partial fraction every year every year you can say that one question at least will be there from partial fraction okay so very 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 important students okay if you have a linear and two linear factors so we write a by x minus a plus b by x minus b if you have a repeating so what do you say a by one time you write linear and second time you write the repeating together okay if you have three same thing just linear means simple if you have again repeating so repeating will go two times one alone one in the repeating form if you have a quadratic then we write it in a different way whenever we have a quadratic students very important whenever we have a quadratic we write two variables there okay so a by x minus a is simple plus b by uh, bx plus c by x square plus bx plus c clear so this all will explain with the examples and we'll take it with the pyqs don't worry just everything you note it down everything you note it down make a proper note from today onwards okay next is property of definite integral very important one question also you can see from here minimum one i'm telling now what is the first property if you already understand the process of integration so once you have done the integration you can just put the limits our first integration and then put the higher limit minus lower limit so f of b minus f of a that's simple now let's say i have to integrate integration of x square dx so integration of x square dx from 2 to 1 so integration of x square is what x cube by 3 sir and then 2 to 1 so what do we do uh, first we put the higher limit that is equal to 2 cube by 3 minus then the lower limit 1 cube by 3 so we'll get 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 answer is 7 by 3 so that is the answer sir. clear everybody got it now uh, coming to the next formula 
whenever we have integration from 1 to 2 fx dx, now we want to change the limit. Instead of doing from 1 to 2, we want to do from 2 to 1. 2 to 1 fx dx will have to put a minus sign. That's it. Okay. Whenever you are making the lower limit go to the upper and upper limit to the lower, you just put a minus sign. Okay. Clear? It's a simple thing. No. See, if you have taken that you are traveling in the right direction as plus 5. So if you travel in the left direction, can we say as minus 5? Same thing. No. Integration of a to b fx dx is equal to a to c fx dx plus c to b. Now sometimes what happens, let's say we are going to our friend's house. And in that case, you have to take a stop. So how much distance covered? So instead of telling that uh, the distance covered by you from your house to your uh, best friend's house is equal to the distance covered by you from your house to your enemy, your enemy came here first, and then from the enemy house to your best friend's house. So you can do like that because we have taken a break. We met with the enemy also. Correct tab. So we can do like that also. Okay. Now, so what is the practical application of this? Sir? This is we use it in a uh, modulus function where basically we use this, uh, what do you say, property where the function is changing. Let's say I have to, let's say I have to integrate from 2 to 5 and my function is changing at uh, 4. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it. 2 to 4, it is behaving similar. Okay. And from 4 to 5, it has a different behavior. So done. Clear. So that time in that cases we use this formula. Okay. Coming to the next, this these formulas are the most important formulas. Formula 4, formula 5, and formula uh, 6 students. Okay. This is the, almost the most important part of the formula chart. Let's see. So integration of a to b fx dx can also be written as integration of a to b f of lower limit plus higher limit minus x dx lower limit plus higher limit minus x okay now what kind of questions are it is important from these kinds of formula what kind of question we can expect see if you are they have given 0 to uh, same from that part only if a is 0 0 to a fx dx can also be written as 0 to a f of a minus x dx now they'll give you a lot of times question 0 to pi by 2 tan power 4x by tan power 4x plus cot power 4x now here if i use this formula so what will happen 0 to pi by 2 it is same as tan power uh what do you say pi by 2 minus x power 4 same thing here same thing tan power pi by 2 minus x whole power 4 plus cot power so what will happen this will whole thing will change into cot power 4 by tan power 4x plus cot power 4x now if i add it both it will be 2i will be equal to 1 and directly I'll get the value of i is equal to half. So you can solve these questions in less than 30 seconds. Okay. So we'll be seeing them very properly with the questions. So don't worry. Okay. Now this formula also will be seen now, here without example. It will be difficult to understand. But I've first given you the formula how we are using. Now next important thing is. To understand what is an even function and odd function what is an even function even function which can absorb sign even function keep that in mind which can absorb the sign let's say i have a function fx is equal to cos x so if i put cos of minus x student what will happen it will be cos x only no it can absorb the sign so in that case what will happen instead of uh, when we are doing the integration from minus a to a fx dx we can just do what uh, 0 to a two times of fx dx Okay, and if it is an odd function, we can just make it zero. Means what they're trying to say is, let's say we're integrating from minus pi by two to pi by two cos x. So what will happen? It is like this, and this and this are symmetrical. So instead of doing this area and this area, what I can do? I can do two times of this first area. Correct, because what? It is an even function. Now what if sine comes in? If sine is there, if you see sine, sine is like this, uh, like this part. Okay. So this is positive and negative area. This is positive area. So if it is an odd function, this will be positive. This will be negative. Okay. So directly you can put up zero. So if you know that directly, you can solve these kinds of questions. Okay. So you don't have to worry that time. Okay. You don't have to worry that time. So odd function again, I've explained which can absorb the sign even function. Sorry, even function can absorb the sign. Odd cannot. Okay. Example of uh, even is cos. Example of odd is sign. C sign. So, so for directly if you see if you can understand this function is odd directly if the integration is from minus a to a you can put the value of x dx is equal to 0 
okay and this will be two times of that two times of this positive part or any part you can take clear everyone the last formula also same thing very important now whenever it is from instead of b if it is 0 to 2a we can apply that same formula for that time also now this becomes very important when you are solving some trigonometric based questions like 0 to 2 pi so 0 to 2 pi sine 2 pi minus theta is what an odd function because it is minus theta so in that case it will be directly 0 so you need to understand these are formulas write it down okay once you have written start going through with the what we uh, going to provide you all is uh, after this we are going to provide you the okay first is the formula part okay once you're done with the formulas we'll go with the pyqs year by year we'll go with and we'll try to understand which year what is the analysis how much questions and what kind of questions are being asked how to solve it in less than 30 seconds third once you're done with the pyq you're done with the formula we'll go with exemplar sir plus important questions of anc ert which is very important and we have to solve it in less time okay and then the revision important questions okay so once you're done with all this i don't think so anything will be left from this uh, anything will be left from this part of the chapter for you to be taught and there's the revision part from your end will be needed okay so that's all if you like it do uh, inform your friends also okay it will help us uh what do you say in helping you all okay so now this video is about the detailed discussion for the kct pyqs now what happens is and what do we learn from the previous years questions first thing is we understand how case it is asking us the questions okay so we'll be solving each and every year questions and we'll be doing a detailed analysis once we are done with the questions so that we get to understand what is basically asked from the integration part now what happens is a lot of places we are just getting questions which are of j level or a bit harder level so we need to understand what level we need to prepare because if you are preparing a bit above level or we are preparing to below level we won't be able to do it proper in the kct because kct ask in a certain pattern and we need to decode that pattern and i have decoded that pattern for you and i want to explain you that students if we study by this format we'll be able to score more in kct in a very less time frame so let's start the video by seeing the each and every question do say that this question is damn simple and i'll be able to crack it the first thing now what you can do okay i remember one class 10th formula what is that 10th formula of trigo everybody knows sin square x plus cos square x is how much sir is equal to 1 correct so i can write sin square x is equal to what 1 minus cos square x and i remember one more formula from algebra and what is that formula a square minus b square student is what the a minus b third into a plus b this i have studied in what class 6 or 7 correct so this i can write it as 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x correct see and then i'll simplify 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x correct so you cut cut what do you have just integration of 1 is what x and integration of cos x is sin x plus c that's it how much time it took on the video right now solving it by showing all that it took somewhere more than a minute and a half now let's say i'm approaching that same question okay and this time i don't want to solve in the brain only i'll see register oh sine square x trigger formula i know sine square x is what one minus cos square x and then cos one minus cos, cos square uh, one minus cos square x i can write it as one minus cos x into one plus cos x okay one plus cos x uh, one minus cos x uh, one plus cos x and one plus cos x will be cancelled so i'll have directly one line single line i'll write one minus cos x and then okay integration even that also i don't need to write okay once you come to that pro level you will see okay this one done clear done that's it so what is the difficulty so you need to practice you need to understand how to attempt the paper how to attempt each and every question okay let's come to the next question okay now this question calls you to understand and to remember one of the very 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 important property okay and what is that property see whenever i have a function okay what type of what kind of function the two kinds of function which i was talking in the first 2015 if you go around the 2015 analysis also always one question comes from odd or even function concept what is an odd what is an even odd function is if a function if i am putting a minus it will just bring it out 
This is an odd function. Example, you have to keep it in mind, like sin x, because sin of minus theta, sin of minus x is equal to minus sin x. So if you remember by putting an example, it becomes very easier. Even function, it is able to absorb the sign, sir. It is able to absorb the sign. Like cos x, clear? Now what they've given, they've given one sign, one cos function. So we know cos will be able to absorb the sign. So this is, uh, what do you say, an even function. But this sign won't be able to absorb, correct? So integration, now once you know that this whole function, and we know odd into even function is odd function, correct? So now this whole function is from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4, and then we have an odd function here. Now if you remember the property of definite integral, what it said is, understand, very very important, minus a to a, f of x dx, and this fx is an odd function, directly you put the answer 0, that's it. Nothing more than that is there. Okay, so without touching the pen, I could have solved in less than 5 seconds. So what you need to know and what you need to keep in mind is this part. Okay, how to analyze, what they can do is, this time, a lot of, what do you see, you will see videos in YouTube where they'll show shortcuts and shortcuts and they'll show zero and very properly. But until unless you understand the reason of why it is being zero, you won't be able to apply again. Because the questions won't repeat, but the concepts will definitely repeat, okay? So what they can give you this time, next time what KCT can give you, let's say minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, and they can give you sign of 210x or 211x cos of 113x dx done. Then also directly you can put 0 and chill. Okay. That's it. Nothing more than that is there in this question. Okay. So you need to understand the concept students. Okay. Even for the short tricks, even for the tricks part, you need to understand the concepts. Coming to this question directly, I know I can see I don't have to use integration also. Very minimum integration is needed here. I'll say, sir, what is needed here? Sir, first thing what is needed here is trigo. And what in trigo do we need? Sir, the formula, sir. What is the formula? Sir, if I remember cos 2 theta, what is cos 2 theta formula? 2 cos square theta minus 1. 2 cos square theta minus 1. If I know this value, this one, I'm done. How? Let's see. So cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 minus of 2 cos square theta minus 1 divided by cos x minus cos theta. That's it. So that is equal to 2 cos square x minus minus 1 and minus into minus plus 1. So both will be cancelled. Minus 2 cos square theta. Correct. By cos theta minus cos, uh, sorry, cos x minus cos theta. Now understand one more thing we wanted to know here, algebra. Now what is that algebra? Basic algebra. Everybody remember this formula. A square minus B square is what the? A minus B sir into A plus B. That's it. Everybody remembers. So once I see this in this form, what I'll do? I'll take two common out. So what will be? Cos square x minus cos square theta by cos x minus cos theta. That's it. So two I took it common. A square minus B square. So A minus B into A plus B. Correct. What is difficult in this? By cos x minus cos theta. So cut, cut. So what I got? Very layman. Cos x plus cos theta. Now you'll say, sir, is this integration anything difficult? What is the integration of cos? Integration of cos is a sign first. And since I'm integrating, now a lot of students, they do mistake here. Since I'm integrating with respect to dx, cos theta will be what? Constant. The function is what? dx? No. I'm integrating. So cos theta will be what? Constant. Our integration of anything constant is what? 2 cos theta will just come out. Integration dx is x. So 2 cos theta x. So what will be the answer to it? Both positive 2 sin theta, 2 sin x plus x cos, no, x cos theta because 2 I have already taken common. Correct. So what was difficult in this? Tell me. And what we needed here? Sir, basic trigo, 11th first P1 and the algebra sir. That's it. Done. Integration basic formula we used. Nothing more than that we have used. So why it is the hype to be scared of integrals questions? Nothing is there. No. And it's a 2017 paper. So nothing which is coming in the questions and answers, nothing is coming that difficult. So understand because see, you have a time frame of one minute. So they can't give you that difficult like a JE question. Okay. So understand that and then approach the problem. Okay. Okay. By seeing this, we can directly see the answer is C. Now you'll say, sir, how sir? You have mugged up the answer and you have come. 
illa illa see first thing is everywhere sin inverse is there okay we all know that much okay first you have to use whenever we are getting like this we have to use completing the square method which you have learned in class 10 still a lot of people they'll say sir we don't remember completing the square method but still okay no problem coming to what is what we can do here integration dx by so root under of first take a minus whenever the coefficient of x square is negative take a minus common so the moment you took minus outside what do you got 9x square plus 6x minus 3 this much everybody can understand now the second line the moment i write you will be done root under of now see minus see everywhere 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 1 so the chances are 3x plus 1 will be dominating and the chances are for this to be the answer so what will be and if you see here this is basically 9x square plus 6x what i can write here plus 1 minus 4 correct can i write this how many got it sir we didn't get it sir what you have done sir basically see 3x plus 1 whole square is what done 3x plus 1 whole square if you understand if you open it up it's 9x square plus 6x plus 1 now i already had minus 3 so if i added plus 1 i had to subtract minus 1 and minus 3 i already had so what i got 3x plus 1 integration dx by root under of minus 3x plus 1 whole square minus 2 square now i don't need to solve further why because if i take what is the formula the formula is what sine inverse x by a 1 by a sine inverse x by a plus c correct so the formula is sine inverse x by a plus c now here i have to take this 3x plus 1 if i want to bring it to the standard form i have to take 3x plus 1 as t so the moment I take 3x plus 1 as t, what will happen? 3 dx will be equal to what dt? So dx will be equal to what dt by 3. So 1, 3 will go out. And they haven't written, correct? In none of the other options, there is 1 by 3 out. So this is gone, this is gone, this is gone. Directly we can do with this. So what was difficult in this? Tell me. Nothing was difficult in this question. Correct. So you just needed to understand. And what is the standard formula, students? The standard formula is integration dx by a square minus x square. That's it. So everybody got it. This is the simple concept that we are using it here. Okay. The moment we see this question, what do you say? Just take common and you're done. Okay. So let's say, let's say I'm a layman people and I don't know uh, how to integrate and all that. So what I'm going to do? See, so you can see this option, it goes for log rest all is tan inverse, tan inverse, tan inverse. So tan inverse will be the answer. Now if I see, or uh, what I can say about this is um, what I'll get. What do you think? I can differentiate and get the answer. One thing very simple out of these any three, just take any one and differentiate. Let's say I'm taking the last one and differentiating 2 tan inverse root x plus c. Okay. So 2 into 1 by root under of 1 plus. What is the derivative of tan inverse x students? d by dx of foot tan inverse x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square so here in this case 1 by 1 plus root x whole square into derivative of root x 1 by 2 root x plus c so this 2 this 2 is gone so what i got 1 by root x into 1 plus x so see that is same as the question so means without solving the question only i got the answer but i'll show you how to solve also but see so you can go opposite way also if you are like very good in derivative and you are able to see and pinpoint okay this can be the answer among these three any can be the answer so you can go by that also you differentiate now you say sir what if i differentiate by this yes you will differentiate you will see you will getting uh, you are getting something if you multiply by four it will be done so if i multiply this whole thing by four it will be done so you will get like that you will be able to understand okay this is not the answer if i multiply by four means if i multiply here by four it will be two here so that should be the answer okay so that is one thing now what if i'm i know a bit of integration let's solve it by integration method okay so for that let's see integration dx by now from here student what you can take common root x you can take common so take root x common so root x into x 1 plus it will be what x correct now what i'll do i'll take root x equal to t root x equal to t so 1 by 2 root x 
dx equal to dt or dx by root x is equal to 2 dt correct so integration dt by what I am getting here because this whole thing became dt uh, dx by root x so dt by 1 plus t square now see that is directly tan inverse and I already have 2 so 2 tan inverse t is what root x plus c that's it so I can go by this also a pretty simple for what is your question which could have been solved in like 30 seconds now since I wanted to explain in a very simple manner so I went slow okay now again that kid question they have given by parts question so the moment you see tell yourself this is a kid question now what it in this what we gonna do is 3x plus 1 will write the whole what do you say left hand side 3x plus 1 by x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 and then we'll write is equal to a by the first term x minus 1 plus b by the second term x minus 2 plus c by the third term x minus 3 now what you do take this whole thing and put it here put it here put it here so what will happen this term and this term will be cancelled so 3x plus 1 will be equal to a by this term this term cancelled so other two term will remain here also other two term will remain here also other two terms remain so correct now what we are going to do is sir I need to see that the options B here here C options are same here and here same so this option is same for everyone so I don't want to find B I want to find A and C so first I want to find A so if I want to find A I have to make B and C 0 so what I am going to do is See, if I put x equal to 1, b will be 0, c will be 0. Correct. a will be 1 minus 2, so that is minus 1, and 1 minus 3, so that is minus 2. And this side equal to, we got 3 into 1 plus 1, 4. So 2a is equal to 4, so a is equal to half, sorry, 4 by 2, sorry, 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 my mistake, 2. So we got that a is equal to 2, means either it is b option or it is d option. Let's see which one. Now, in order to find C, what we're going to do? We'll make B and A 0. So, what are we going to do? We'll put X equal to 3. The moment we put X equal to 3, this again went 0, this again went 0. So, 3 into 3 plus 1 is equal to C into put 3, 3 minus 1 into 3 minus 2. So, what I'm getting, 9 plus 1, 10 is equal to 2C into so c is equal to 5 so which option d option that's it so was it that difficult my dear students correct none sir it is not that difficult only thing is we have put up in our brain that it is difficult the moment you try to understand the moment you approach it with a positive mind questions will be done like this what do you say so best of luck be tuned for the next 2021 and that will be very important one don't miss it out. Thank you.